what we've done here, what you've done here by bringing 200 plus AHOA members together is historic, uh, but even more importantly, um, it's very meaningful. AHOA and I may think that we're right on an issue, but at the end of the day, if the 434 other members I serve with in the House don't agree with us, we're losing the battle. And so by them coming out here with their conference, with the advocacy on the Hill over the next several of days, it's extremely powerful to make their voice be heard, to influence the lawmakers, to make sure that the right policies happen. For business folks that want to come out and share our story about how some of the issues that affect our industry, it's not just one voice, it's um, all of us put together. And their agenda is, is the free enterprise system. I mean, there's no hidden agenda. You know, they're not asking for a special tax break. They're not asking for a subsidy. They're not asking for anything except don't change the rules in the middle of the game and turn a country of opportunity into a country of entitlements. Well, AHOA is very effective. Uh, their presence here on Capitol Hill uh, really brings to life uh, the extraordinary success of the Asian American community and particularly in the hospitality uh, industry. Uh, and for all of us, uh, the success of AHOA is jobs. As a national organization, we almost represent 40% of all the hotels. So they are listening to us. And it is our job to make sure they hear our concern, what uh, affects our business. Uh, so we, it is very important we all need to get involved in this process. One thing that lawmakers do is that they reach out to people with more knowledge than them on a given subject and ask their opinion. We are attempting to position AHOA, and we have been doing so recently, uh, to be in the position to be that resource. Input from industry is vital to moving forward. We know as representatives what we need to be working on, but hearing the input from industry and the hurdles that they're dealing with, you know, many times government is the, is the issue that's standing in the way of growth. And we need to hear about it. We need to know what we need to be doing in order to help move things forward. There's three big things. You went to Washington to fight for more credit, better financing, and to save programs that help you finance your business. The second is, you came here to save programs like the 1031 Exchange that help you grow your business. And the third is, is to ensure that you control your workplace. You'll be educating the staff and the members of Congress about something they know nothing about and you know everything about which is how to run a small business and how to run your hotels. You walk into those members of Congress office, uh, the seven, eight, nine, ten meetings you're going to have, that again, we're here to do business and we want to leave having made an enormous impact. It's time, my honor to introduce our next speaker. Don't ever doubt our support for you all and the fact that you're creating jobs and uh, providing uh, facilities in our communities that are very much needed. So thank you all very much. Your time in Washington, D.C. goes a really long way. As you can imagine, we are faced with you know, hundreds of different pieces of legislation, tons of different things going on in the world. By your presence, it is a nice reminder of the core of so many of our communities, of the small businesses, the big businesses in our community. Uh, so continue to come to DC, to take the time. These couple days you spend are, I believe, very valuable in the long-term uh, you know, uh, success of your industry.
We had a group of about 10 ambassadors from South Carolina and uh, had about seven meetings with our congressional associates or such. Uh, topped it off last but not least with uh, Congressman Joe Wilson and uh, had a good 20 minute uh, conversation with him with the, uh, his thoughts on the future of the hospitality industry and how it may affect uh, South Carolina hoteliers. This is probably by far the best organized event we've had. Uh, the leave out information that we left with our offices was wonderfully presented. Um, the information we received was taken in uh, correctly and we, we were able to execute with our congressmen and senators in the right manner. I appreciate what you do. I recognize your contribution in, in terms of economic growth and jobs. Thank you for what you do and it's an honor to be, honor to be here. As an AHOA member, as the first Gujarati American to, to be a member of Congress, and, and you know, coming from a family of hoteliers, um, it is a thrill to be here. It's through uh, small business entrepreneur, entrepreneurs such as yourself uh, that create jobs in America, that create economic, uh, economic opportunities in America, and I'm just appreciative that you believe in, in America enough to come here and make that kind of investment uh, in our future as a nation. So God bless you and it's great being with you. I was not a fan of politics or Washington DC until I got here four years ago. After my second trip, it's a true believer. If I'm not here, I'm not a part of AHOA.